Welcome back. Following developments after the deadly earthquake which struck the Gansu province, killing as many as 95 people, Tsai Chuan village has now been evacuated to avoid secondary disasters. This is after days of heavy rain battered the area and that's raised the fears of landslides. Now this place lies deep within the mountains of Changshan County. It was one of the worsted areas in Monday's earthquake with most of the homes there completely gutted. Our reporter Wu Lei followed one rescue team as they moved residents to safer ground. Rescuers are rushing in to get villagers out. When roads are too dangerous for trucks, rescuers go by foot deep into the mountains. After several hours, the team finally arrives in the remote village. It's still drizzling here, and the weather had a bad impact on the relief work. After a long and difficult trip, the rescuers have been going to inspect each family and to make sure all the villagers and their valuable properties can be transferred in time. After geological experts surveyed the area, the high possibility of landslides if the rain continued. What Monday's earthquake didn't destroy, these villagers hope to take with them as they try to start a new life. Rescuers are doing all they can to help salvage any property, including furniture and valuable household goods. But time isn't on their side. The team needs to get everyone out quickly, especially the young and elderly. All of my family members have been evacuated. I am the last one. Because time is short, I can only take this quilt. There are 268 people in this village. Thanks to the rescuers, everyone has gotten out safely, along with some personal items. Rescuers have helped the villagers evacuate some traditional Chinese herbs. They have also helped some seniors get out of damaged homes. We have persuaded these villagers to leave for the relocation center. Villagers were staying in these makeshift tents on the open plain, far away from any potential secondary disaster. Here they will have access to food, water, and other daily necessities. Experts warn that their village is no longer safe. Having only gotten over the trauma of Monday's quake and the pain of losing their homes, these villagers now have to restart their lives somewhere else. Right now, time is the only thing that can heal. Wu Lei, CCTV, Zhangxian County.